If you have insomnia, it's so important to see each night as a fresh start and to always look forward instead of back. And this is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Hi, I'm Martin Reed. If you have insomnia, I offer sleep coaching programs that will give you all the skills and support you need to enjoy better sleep for the rest of your life. You can learn more at insomniacoach.com. Now, one thing that's very common among people with chronic insomnia is this analysis and this reflection on every single night of sleep. It's so tempting to just examine what happened last night and just to spend a lot of time thinking about what happened last night, um, especially if the night was a struggle. Now, this can be a problem because what tends to happen if we have a good night is we don't really think about sleep, but then if we have a bad night, we can spend almost the whole day thinking and worrying about sleep. And this really isn't helpful because the more we kind of think about sleep, the more effort we're ultimately putting into sleep. And whenever we put effort into sleep, this implies that we can somehow control sleep, but sleep can't be controlled. We can certainly set the stage for sleep to make sleep more likely, but we can't actually control when we fall asleep or how long we're gonna sleep for. Attempting to do this is counterproductive because ultimately it just activates our arousal system and makes sleep more difficult. Now, a really big perpetuating factor behind insomnia is arousal. Um, and this can really be fed by an obsession with sleep and just constantly thinking and worrying about sleep, especially when we've had a bad night. And it can be really easy to become immediately disheartened when we have a bad night of sleep. Um, I work with many clients who would experience a good stretch of good sleep, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, maybe three weeks, maybe even longer. And then they have one night of struggle and they feel that somehow they're back to square one. And all those fears and worries come, come rushing back. And this is normal, you know, because it's, it's related to sleep confidence. And when you've struggled with sleep for so long, it really is going to take time for you to recover that sleep confidence. And when you experience a bad night, it can shake that confidence and really make you feel discouraged. But it's important to recognize that ups and downs, completely normal. Everyone has a bad night of sleep from time to time. If you speak to someone who doesn't really struggle with sleep, when they have a bad night, they don't really think about it. They recognize that they had a bad night and then they move on. They don't really think about it. So as a result, they tend to sleep better the following night and that everything is back to normal. What can happen if you have low sleep confidence, of course, is that as soon as you have that bad night, then you immediately start worrying about that bad night. And this worry and this fear can then move on to the following night and make sleep more difficult that night too. So it's really important just to recognize that you're gonna have a bad night of sleep from time to time, to always look forward. Try not to dwell on what's happened in the past because what happened in the past isn't necessarily an indicator of what's gonna happen in the future. In fact, after a bad night of sleep, it becomes more likely that you're gonna have a better night of sleep the next night because your sleep drive is gonna be stronger. Always look forward. Focus on the future, see each night as a fresh start and stay consistent with the techniques that you're implementing to improve your sleep. So I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I do try and share some new sleep snippet videos every week. If you have any questions, comments, feedback or suggestions for a future video, please leave a comment below or you can email me directly. My email address is hello at insomniacoach.com. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'd like to leave you with this important reminder. You can sleep.